show uh, this morning. It's the new harness lead. It's a handcrafted braided nylon leash with rubber stops. Handcrafted emphasize. These are all made by hand. Uh, this is a product developed by a woman named Lisa Flynn. And Lisa worked for many years as a volunteer at an animal shelter in New Jersey where she walked thousands of dogs from little dogs up to large dogs, dogs that had not been uh, under the best circumstances like uh, pit bulls that were rescues and did not know how to walk on a leash. Uh, Kelly Hughes is here who you're seeing right now walking one of Dan and Kelly's dogs, Raven, on the new harness lead. And let me introduce you now to my new, new good friend who I just met this morning. Come on over here so we can Hi. see you behind the doggy. Uh, this is Lisa Flynn. First Hi. of all, I so admire you and what you've dedicated your life to doing. Thank um, you, I know that um, this is something that you worked a long time to develop. Yes. Uh, it's available, everybody, in either black, in the reflective orange, which will be great for walking your dog at night, or the one that is red and purple. And there are two sizes. The small medium is for dogs from 14 to 40 pounds, and the medium large is for dogs over 40 pounds. Correct. So tell me what, this is so unique, and it's not a collar, and it's not a leash, and it's not a harness like what we've seen before. It's actually better than all of those. Right, so what it is, it's a leash and a harness in one. Okay. So you don't need both. Um, and it fits all the unusual body types and figures. So if your dog might be a little bit overweight or have an unusual body, okay. it's going to fit your dog perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, and it helps to reduce pulling on the dog because that's one of the challenges that I faced as a shelter dog walker. Mm -hmm. um, dogs pulling very hard and then choking, yes. um, which was very sad to see. And another thing is a lot of the dogs knew how to actually back out or wriggle out of their harness. Yeah, they're or little their, Houdinis, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. Houdini mm -hmm. dogs, mm -hmm. right? And um, and now they were loose, right. running around. Right. So this harness actually prevents that because when the dog starts to back out, mm -hmm. it tightens around them. So this is very, very comfortable for your dog, yet very, very escape resistant. If you have a dog that has gets out of their collar or even sometimes gets out of a regular harness, they're gonna have a very hard time getting out of this, but it's not gonna be uncomfortable or tight. Also, um, you've uh, made it so that it doesn't creep up under their armpits like a lot of harnesses do, which can really kind of be uncomfortable for the dog. Yes, because that's one area that usually causes chafing on mm -hmm. the dog. Mm -hmm. You might notice that some of the harnesses that you use, if they hit into mm -hmm. the armpit, it causes the chafing. So okay. this one does not. And it's also very soft. So that helps with the chafing as well. It's silky and soft. Let's go over to Kelly and Raven and uh, let's show, first of all, um, that there's 300 gone so far. Um, how do we put it on the dog and take it off of the dog. Sure, definitely. So it's very easy to get off of the dog. Mm -hmm. It goes off very quickly. All you have to do is just loosen up the disc okay. like so. All right. You're going to loosen the side and then you're just going to take the whole thing and pop it right over the dog's head. Okay. So it goes off so fast. Okay. And then to Mm -hmm. Go ahead to put it back on. Yeah, and then to begin again, you're just going to undo it so that it's just like this. So just when you get it, it's going to kind of look like a jump rope. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Like yep. Bit. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hey, so to Don't put work. it back on the dog, you're going to put it over the dog's head. With and you the, notice it doesn't choke the dog in any way. No. No. <clears throat> and Somebody leads do. Yeah, and you're going to put the opening on the back. That is the main mm -hmm. thing to remember. Mm -hmm. If you remember that, it's all going to make sense. Mm -hmm. To size it for your particular dog, you're <laughs> going to take the stops and you're going to move them. Okay, we can't see. Let's turn a Raven a okay. little bit so go. we can see what you're doing. Okay, yep. there you go. Do it over. So okay. we're just going to take doing? these stops and you're going to move them. They're movable. And you're going to line them up with the back of the front leg area. That's how you size it for your particular dog. Then you're going to take the leash, go underneath the dog's body, and you're just going to bring the handle up through the opening. You're going to bring the stop up through as well, and then you're just going to lower the stop down in place. Great. If you line up those two black stops with nice. the dog's front leg, it will fit any dog's body perfectly. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then, uh, Kelly, if you'd like to take her, Which, her front walk. Or, that sounds so complicated. You, it's not. You do it once. <laughs> you put it over their and head. And you're done. You tighten yeah, the stops. Very you pull the leash through. You pull the stop down, and you go. Now, Raven, who's very well behaved, if Raven, and by the way, Raven is an Australian Shepherd, about 40 pounds. So Raven is wearing the smaller of the two. Um, Raven could probably wear either size. Yes. Um, if you have a tiny doggy that fits in your purse, 
yeah, probably a little so too not small. Much, yeah. <laughs> but if you have a dog that's about 10 pounds or bigger, um, one of these two sizes will work perfectly. But the yeah. thing is, Dan, I know you've rescued dogs. I have too. And of course, Lisa has rescued many. Um, dogs that are in particular that are rescues, uh, if they get out of their leash, they take off running they're, down the street. Yes. They don't know where they live. They don't know where they're going. They're very hard to catch, and it's heartbreaking to lose your dog. Yeah. Your dog will not escape from this. If you've ever had a dog that pulls, most leashes go around their throat. Yes, yeah. and they mm -hmm. choke. It pulls on it, their windpipe. It, it really becomes a, a situation where the dog doesn't want to go for a walk. You mm -hmm. wouldn't want to go for a walk if mm -hmm. somebody choked you every time you, mm -hmm. you know, walk down the street with them. Right. So this now is going underneath their, oh, pardon me, sweetie, uh, underneath <laughs> their body, <laughs> and she's comfortable. Yeah, so the way it's working to reduce the pulling is as the dog pulls, okay, yep. it's going to tighten around the barrel only. You'll see here that there's no tightening around the neck area at all. When the dog relaxes, the leash is going to relax back down. So what it's doing is it's utilizing a dog's own pressure against the leash to encourage and remind the dog to slow his pace. They I become a better citizen. Yes. Well, you um, have more control over the dog because the whole body is in your control versus just, just the neck. Yep. But it's a gentle um, form of control. Okay. We're busy. 1,500 ordered. I'm so glad you love this. I'm getting this for my dogs. <laughs> I, uh, and I just wanted to show the instructions that she showed you step by step are all right here in pictures on the card that will come looped around your harness lead. So it's very easy, just follow the steps. The first couple times you do it, you won't have to look at this ever yeah. again. And once you size it for your dog, you never have to size it again. So once you put those black stops in line with the leg, you keep them there. Perfect. And then it's just over the head, under the body, and up. Good yeah. job. Simple. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, you hung her on and, this you know, one. Uh, this is uh, such an lady? important product, and thank you for what <laughs> you do. Thank you so much. And thank you for rescuing. Uh, uh, stay on the line for these. Thank Thanks, you for Kelly. coming in and bringing well, the dog. You. Greatly thank appreciate you, that Raven. as well. Thank you, Raven. Good girl. Good job, Raven. <laughs> All right. We would spend the rest of the show on this, but we have